The Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps has arrested 50 headsmen for carrying AK-47 and kidnapping. Hello, my wonderful people. Very well to reach you today. Uh, the order that was given by President Muhammadu Buhari, according to what we heard, was shoot aside. If you find any unconstituted authority carrying weapons, such authority could be... Um, Fulani headsmen, individuals in the society and people who are not licensed to hold such ammunitions. What happened is a country like in the United States of America, you can go for your gun license and when granted, you can actually carry arms. But guess what? In Nigeria, it's not acceptable. It's not part of our law. So this is actually happening right now. Uh, they've seen about 50 headsmen carrying it and they've been arrested but guess what they've been arrested and uh, they were not shot aside like the order of president muhammad buhari can you see that uh, those who believe that buhari is actually giving one order to save nigerians are really deceiving themselves please don't forget to give us a thumbs up subscribe if this is your first time god bless you the Nigerian, Civ the Nigerian Society and Civil Defense Corps has arrested 50 armed bearing headsmen. The command general, Hamed Habdu, made the disclosure on Wednesday in Abuja. Habdu spoke while presenting license to private guide operators. We, re we released and We've released some license to some private guards in Abuja because of the situ security situation. We realize that some of them are, ca are carrying weapons that are not enough to combat the insecurity. There are these cattle rearers who go about kidnapping, carrying sophisticated weapons. The headsmen were arrested in Ekiti, Bonu, and Cross River, and some other parts of the country. Abdul reiterated his determination to represent the call for optimal delivery on its call mandates. The Civil Defense Corps chief stressed the need for synergy and intelligence sharing between security agencies. The CG charged the private guard operator to support ongoing efforts against insecurity in Nigeria. Abdu announced that their license would be withdrawn if they engage in unethical practices. We warned them not to adopt the rank and make and misuse this opportunity they've been, they've been given to be able to combat insecurity currently ravaging the country, the reason why they were given the license in the first place. He commissioned them to use it wisely and to ensure that they continue to assist the country in efforts to bring about security in every life as we continue in our day-to-day -day affair. It has become imperative that... Um, Nigerian government begin to work and to ensure that, you know, insecurity become a thing of the past. Currently, what we are experiencing today are some people who, you know, uh, uh, the Fulani headsmen particularly, carrying out insecurity and they are really succeeding. You see, they are really succeeding. Why? It's not because the Nigerian government cannot combat this, but because, I mean, there are people in government today who are participating, enjoying what is going on and are the ones fueling the current security spray we are having in the country. And so why some people are working to ensure that this become a thing of the past, some other people are frustrating the efforts. So when you look at it, it's all the same thing. The same Fulani headsmen that were said that if you find them carrying weapons that are not licensed, these are people, I mean, they have been kidnapping and the rest. And you can hear the civil defense call leader saying that um, these people, about 50 of them have been captured, have been arrested from a Across the country, but was that was that was that the was that what they said they should do? Was that what they said they should do? No, that was not the that was not the the, the order that was given. The order that was given by President Muhammadu Buhari is shoot aside. If you see them carrying AK forty seven or any of such weapon, but guess what? They ain't gonna do it. No way. Why would they do it? They are actually doing their bidding for them, and you want them to do something otherwise. It's not going to be. It's not going to be possible. These are their very own people. So when you say you are, 
you are instilling a law, then it should cut across all board. But guess what? In Nigeria today, this is not the reality. This is not the case of what is going on. We have a people who, you know, deceive others and actually doing something else right behind the scene. Right behind the scene, it's something else totally off and different to what is going on. They are telling you A, but actually they mean B. You see, so this is why the country is in this state of insecurity and you wonder where it's coming from. There is no government of a people that can easily be squashed like the Nigerian government is currently being squashed with regards to insecurity spray that is going on in the country. They are going about it very well and nobody is speaking anything and nothing is being done to alter the situation because these people are, they are, they are backed up. We know that the Nigerian government, you know, is very, is currently very much, you know, aware of what is going on. You know, for instance, in Zamfara State, before the government said it's a no-flying zone, they knew that the common man, the poor man on the streets, the man who is even working in the bank, cannot afford to go and buy a private uh, shopper. So who exactly is aiding these people, giving them the money to buy this uh, sophisticated weapon with which to carry out these activities? Is it not the same elites who are in government houses and so on and so forth? So when you look at all the situation and the scenarios of what is on ground, you know that those who are doing it, they have... In fact, those in government, there are people in government establishments, in government houses, and so on and so forth, who are assisting and helping this to rather spread even further and, you know, put the country in the place where it is today. And this is the reason why there is even more agitation, more than ever before, for different ethnic groups to leave the country and become what an independent nation, because there is serious compromise already in Nigerian government. There are people with different ideology, different mindset, when you think that they are with you, my dear, their own mindset is quite different from what you, are, what, you are, what you think is going on. Their mind is not with you one bit. They have a different agenda. And uh, I don't know, I know largely it's politics. However, they should play the politics without the people, without, the, without lives and property being destroyed. But right now in Nigeria, when you have a government who is not competent, who can be bamboozled from anybody, this is what you get. Yet, you know so nigerians let's continue to hope for the best leave us a comment don't forget to like or share subscribe god bless you have a good day bye for now